Hello, St. Monica. It is Saturday, March 28th. Father Hamilton here with some updates for today and for tomorrow. This evening at 7 p.m. from our chapel, we will have the live stream rosary. I invite you to join together and to join me in praying that prayer. Among our other intentions, we certainly want to pray for good weather for Sunday for the outdoor masses. We need to pray that God does what only he can do to provide the weather we need so that we can have the outdoor mass. As for Sunday, March 29th, the fifth Sunday of Lent, uh, the schedule for outdoor Masses is as follows. The 8 a.m. traditional Latin Mass, the 10.30 a.m. English Mass, and then a change of schedule, 12 noon Spanish Mass. Cambie la hora de la misa al aire libre en español este domingo. Ahorita la misa en español es al mediodía, a las 12 mediodía este domingo. Now, a few reminders about the outdoor Mass. Uh, remember, folks, you are dispensed from the obligation to attend Holy Mass by the Archbishop for the extent of the entire Archdiocese of Oklahoma City until he lifts that after these odd days end. So please hear that clearly and accept that, that because of the conditions we're in, the Archbishop has given a dispensation so that the normal obligation to attend Mass has been lifted for you. You do not need to have any sort of concern in conscience over staying home. In fact, if you fall under the safer at home order from the governor, I believe that's 65 or older, you should stay at home, okay? That would be something you should do. If you are sick, have other conditions, or are simply weak, or could become ill, you should stay at home, all right? Um, but if you don't fall into those categories, and somehow really would like to at least go to Mass, albeit under odd conditions with the outdoor Mass, uh, then certainly you're free to come. But folks, hear me say this clearly. Uh, you can stay home and watch it on live stream. You can stay home and read the readings yourself and do your own prayers as a family. That fulfills at least doing something to honor God on his day, even though it's not the Mass. Under these conditions, that's totally acceptable. Or if it's wise, you're able to come to the, uh, to the outdoor Mass in our parking lot on Sunday. But please remember, for the outdoor Masses to work and to guard against large gatherings where people are mingling and interacting, you must stay in your car. I'm asking you to please be attentive to that. That's how this is working for the outdoor Masses. And if we don't have cooperation with that, then, then we'll have to face perhaps not doing that any longer. So those are, the, those are the conditions that I want to make clear to everyone about the outdoor mass and about what you can do from home, either watching the live stream or simply praying on your own to honor and to fulfill the command uh, to worship God on his day. Now, you'll find in the descriptions below a link for the Sunday readings in both English and in Spanish. Uh, and then a number of you have asked about how to handle your contributions to the parish in this time frame. As you know, we're not passing a basket around uh, for the same concerns and reasons why we can't distribute Holy Communion because of the potential interaction among people and transmission. Uh, many of you are so generous in your contributions and desiring to make sure those continue to get to your parish. You're certainly free to mail those into the office, as many of you already have. Others of you have asked questions about how to just maintain kind of regular giving, and perhaps you might want to consider using Faith Direct, which I'll have a link to below. That's our electronic giving program. Uh, electronic giving Faith Direct has found a whole new reason for existence in this odd time frame, and it's a way you can manage your gifts to the parish and not have to worry about a physical envelope or check or cash or transaction that would perhaps um, open the risk of transmission of virus. Now, some of you have asked too, and I want to share some thoughts and reflections, brief ones, about the experience for me as a priest from our first outdoor mass last weekend. Uh, it was a truly beautiful and incredible experience. Something was palpably rich in that experience, uh, given the odd conditions that we're all living in. And I think I, maybe as much as you, needed that rich experience um, in what had already been in just the first days of this, a very disappointing uh, and strange time. It was a very uplifting experience, I know for myself. A question that comes to me a lot is, why did I do an outdoor mass or how did I think of that? I guess the simplest answer for that is the motivation was from a pastor's heart for his people. I say that because over the course of the first few days of the announcement of the suspension of public masses, I heard from a number of you and I could, I could hear the cry from your hearts, uh, the reactions of just confusion, disappointment, um, sadness, depression, even anger about the situation. And I began thinking to myself, if there was something I could do 
uh, to make that better for you, my people, that I wanted to do that. Uh, I felt badly that uh, you were kind of locked out from Mass, as it were. Uh, as a priest, I say Mass every day, and I can say Mass wherever and whenever I need to. So that didn't change for me. But that you weren't able to be there didn't sit well with me either. And so I began uh, thinking, is there something I can do to make the Mass closer and more accessible to you? I thought of the great inconvenience you experienced in this time frame of not being able to come to Mass as you normally would. And I asked myself, is there some way I can participate and share in that inconvenience? And so the idea of going through the effort of bringing what we normally do inside the church outside and, and taking all the efforts to have an altar prepared and to uh, bring everything we normally use outdoors and set them up in a new place uh, in some small way that was an inconvenience I could share with you. Uh, and so I decided that that was something I wanted to pursue and when I learned we had the technology to pull off the audio portion of it, it seemed like it was a great idea and so um, that's the reason I did it. Um, you know, folks, we should be clear that every offering of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, whether people are present or not present with the priest, every offering of the Mass is the complete gift of Christ himself, his grace and love for his church, that is offered for you and his grace comes to you, whether you can be physically present or not. Um, but there is something important and different about being physically present to participate in Mass. And frankly, being physically present is really the only way to participate in Mass in the way it should be participated in, okay? Now, please don't be upset or hear this in the wrong way if you're relying upon live streaming in these strange days, which is kind of what we all have to do. But really, live streaming of the Mass or watching Mass on television, or if you're at a great distance away, not physically present and just listening on the radio, these really aren't... Um, participating in Mass in the way it should be participated in. They really don't fulfill participation in Mass. We need to be clear about that because once these odd days end and we go back to normal, it's not going to be possible just to keep, keep watching a live stream, right? Uh, that's not the way this Mass uh, participation is fulfilled. Um, maybe a way to maybe help you understand that is to take this to a different context, to the sacrament of holy matrimony, the love between a husband and a wife, without being too explicit. Let's face it, that love be between husband and wife, that giving of oneself to the other and receiving of the other, that needs direct and personal mediation. Nothing else between that uh, can effectively mediate that kind of love. And it's the same way for Christ, the Good Shepherd's love for his people and our presence at Mass and participation in Mass. The priest is the icon of Christ, the priest, the Good Shepherd. And that love of Christ that is made present for his people in the sacrifice of the Mass really can't have any other mediation between it for it to be a real participation in that gift of Christ's self. Again, that's not to fault anyone who's staying at home to watch live stream. That's not to say this has no value. I'm not saying those things, but I'm saying we want to be clear, especially when all this ends, that being physically present at Mass, that's how we normally and must participate to actually fulfill our duty uh, for Sunday Mass and to participate fully in what the Mass offers us. For this odd time frame we're in, we're making some concessions to at least give you, our people, something, right, by live streaming. That gives you some connection even though it's not ideal. But in this time frame, hear me clearly, we have all been dispensed from the obligation to attend Mass. Uh, some of you may make the decision to stay home and that is a completely worthy and valid decision. Others, if there's not a risk to you, might decide to come to the parking lot mass to at least be physically present, albeit it's still not normal, awkward, and odd circumstances, but at least being physically present to come and participate in mass in that way uh, is a fine thing for you to do if you're in a category uh, of person uh, who can do that responsibly. But again, stay in the car, okay? So folks, I hope that um, you can hear me uh, speak these words in the way they're intended. Um, know of my love for you. Um, I have a lot more to say about the experience of the outdoor mass. It would take far too long and probably nobody would watch the video to the end anyway. So I might make some further additions of my reflections on the first outdoor mass because I was very deeply moved uh, as a pastor. Um, there were some moments where I really had to fight back some tears 
um, because of just what was so palpably rich about the moment and some of the ways God was speaking to me in the reading of the scripture passages. Um, there's more to share, but for now, um, that's what I want to give you today. Remember, live stream rosary at 7 p.m. tonight, and then our outdoor mass schedule tomorrow, 8 a.m. traditional Latin mass, 10.30 a.m. English mass, 12 noon Spanish mass. Stay safe, everybody. Keep up your prayers, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.